Okay, uh, let's look at the log equations. So we're going to use the, the properties of logs we learned uh, in the previous video to uh, solve the log equations for x. All right, so let's do that. All right, so you have a log to the base b of x is equal to 2 thirds log to the base b of 27 plus 2 times log to the base b of 2 minus log to the base b of 3, right? So left hand side looks uh, looks nice, so I try not to change anything here. It's already pretty nice. But uh, you have a whole bunch of logs uh, here. So I'm going to try to simplify uh, the right hand side using log properties. All right, so first thing I would do is uh, since you have uh, two thirds here, so two thirds can be placed as a power here, right? So let's do that. Log to the base b of 27 to the 2 thirds. Oh, before we do that, 27 is the same thing as 3 cubed. So I'm going to actually rewrite 27 as uh, 3 cubed, right? But we raise it to the two-thirds power, All right? So that comes from this two-thirds right there. All right, and here, so same thing. Uh, here is two. I'm going to put it as a power up here. So it's going to be uh, plus log to the base b, uh, base b of two squared, All right? Then minus log to the base b of 3. This is simple enough, so I'll just uh, leave it as it is. Log to the base b of 3. All right. And then uh, we can actually simplify here a little bit. I'm going to use a different color. All right. So uh, 3 cubed raised it to the 2 thirds power. We can multiply the powers together. Right, 3 times 2 thirds would be 3 cancels out, so 3 and 3 cancel out. So you actually have uh, 3 squared, all right? So um, we have that. Then we have uh, addition here. So addition can be written as multiplication. So you have a log to the base b of... All right, so remember this is 3 squared, 3 squared, all right? Addition becomes multiplication in size, so it's going to be 2 squared, all right? Minus natural log, uh, log to the base b of 3, not natural log, log to the base b. All right, then if you have a subtraction, uh, we can write it as a division inside. So you have a log to the base b of, right? So we have 3 squared times 2 squared. Now divide by 3, right? So subtraction becomes division, right? So we can cancel. Uh, there's 3 there. And uh, you have uh, 3 squared, so one of the 3 cancel out. So we have that. Then this becomes log to the base b of, right? So we have a 3 left over. 3 times 2 times 2, so 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So it's a log to the base b of 12, right? So then compare. Uh, log to the base b of x has to be equal to log to log to the base b of 12. So we know that uh, x has to be equal to 12, right? So therefore, so we found the solution. x is equal to 12. Right, so that's the solution. All right, uh, let's look at the, the second example. All right, log to the base b of quantity x plus 2 plus log to the base b of x 
is equal to log to the base b of 24. All right? So we have two logs on the left hand side, so I'm going to put them together. So um, addition becomes multiplication inside. So you have a log to the base b of, right? We have to multiply quantity x plus 2 and uh, x. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply. So x times x gives you uh, x squared plus x times 2 gives you 2x, right, uh, is equal to log to the base b of 24. All right, so uh, you have the same log with the same base, uh, so we can write it as, all right, so the inside has to match, so you have uh, x squared plus uh, 2x has to be equal to 24, right? Then I would like to have uh, everything on one side and zero on the other side, so I'm going to move uh, 24. I'm going to try to move 24 to the left-hand side. We can do that by subtracting 24 from both sides, right? So you have x squared plus 2x minus 24 is equal to 0, right? Let's uh, factor out, right? So we have quantity here and the quantity here is equal to 0. Since we have x squared, so we probably have x here and x there, right? So we have to come up with uh, two numbers uh, the, whose product is negative 24. So one of the number has to be negative. To make 24, uh, maybe 4 and 6, uh, try 4 and 6, all right? then one of them has to be negative, but the sum has to be positive too, so it's going to be a positive uh, 6 and a negative 4, all right? So if you multiply negative 4 and 6, you get negative 24. Add negative 4 and 6, you get positive 2. So that will work out. All right, so therefore, we have uh, two solutions uh, from this equation. Uh, x equals 4. And uh, from here, x equals negative 6, right? right? But we have to be very careful. Uh, let's look at these, uh, plugging these values into the original function. Uh, put 4 here. 4 plus 2 is then uh, log to the base b of 6 plus uh, log to the base b of 4. There's no problem. But let's look at the negative 6, right? If you try to plug in negative 6, you're going to end up um, here. Uh, maybe uh, this is an easy one to look. If you plug in negative 6, you have a log to the base, C, base B of 6, right? But remember that the log function only takes um, positive real numbers. So it cannot take a negative value. So therefore, uh, x equals negative 6 cannot be a solution of the original equation. So maybe I should write a note that uh, right here. Write a note. All right, negative 6 is not in the domain of uh, this log function, log to the base b of x, right? So therefore, this cannot be a solution. The only solution is x equals positive 4, right? So it's a little tricky at the end for the second example, but uh, so this is how you apply uh, log properties to simplify equations so we can find the value of x. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.